everybody. Welcome to a quickie with Miss B. Today is Tuesday. Thanks so much for joining us. All this week we're talking about titles, awards, and holidays. The funny, strange names that are given. If you've missed yesterday's episode, you need to go back and check it out. Yes, it was. <laughs> you managed to find the dumbest stuff. I did. Score. <laughs> <laughs> And you thought it wasn't, and you thought it wasn't going to be stupid. Hold my beer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hold my beer. I got stupid on lockdown. Let's do this. <laughs> well, today, <laughs> speaking along that lines, we're going to talk about the funny employee awards <laughs> for the first half. <laughs> Gotta love that employee of the month. He didn't do anything in the last month. That's the employee of the month. <laughs> So here, I'm going to give you some titles, and then they're going to put a brief definition <laughs> to those titles. The first one, Duct Tape Award. <laughs> the duct ta- what? The Duct Tape Award? Yep. yep. This award is for the person who is able to fix anything, <laughs> I'm assuming, with duct tape. <laughs> All right. That makes, that makes sense. I, I can dig that one. <laughs> Office DJ Award. <laughs> Okay, I'm not understanding that. This is an award given to the person that knows how to jam. Everyone appreciates their good tunes, even if they play a bit too loud. (laughs) Okay. I I actually got accused of that when I worked in Cube City. (laughs) What, jamming out to... I'm sure sure it was just Motley Crue, right? That was just pretty much it. (laughs) Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, she's she's playing Doctor Feelgood like the nine hundredth time in a row today. <laughs> it was a toss up between Motley and John Bond back in the day. <laughs> and my favorite one, always in a meeting award. <laughs> I have met people like that. Yep, for the person who's never available to answer a phone call or reply to an important email, because why? They're always in a meeting. (laughs) Or or the person I'm thinking of was always going to one. You go, hey, how you been? You know what? I would love to talk to you, but I got to head out. I got a meeting in 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 like 20. And you're like, (laughs) have you ever actually said hello that you weren't on your way to a meeting before? So. Um, This one's got to be one of my favorites. (laughs) Uh Uh-oh. The Bermuda Triangle Award. <laughs> Just the person who's always hiding? Lost? Just the person that, that always disappears mysteriously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you love those people. You're like, is he in the bathroom? No, but I thought he was going to. The, you're like, wait, wait, wait. How, it's been four hours. I haven't even seen him in his desk. <laughs> yeah. I used to like those people. Mm-hmm. And this is also falls under the category, does someone own a mysterious desk where things go in and never return? <laughs> true, true. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> That's kind of a two for one there with the yeah. uh, Bermuda Triangle Award. <laughs> Where's my stapler? It was here. <laughs> wow, it's gone. <laughs> the next one on deck is the Foodie Award. <laughs> What is this? The snot in the in the the snot in the office that likes you know, I don't like this. I like that. No, this one. This award goes to the employee who has the perfect recommendation for any cuisine, any price range, and their taste is impeccable. Now, let me tell you something about working in Cube City, as I did. We actually had some girls that were foodies. I mean, if you wanted to go to a specific, you know, restaurant for burgers or whatever it is. You'd say, hey, you know, I'd like to go out and have to dinner with my uh, husband tonight. And we want to get some really good burgers. Oh, yeah. They were, like, on top of that. <laughs> they would tell you right away, oh, have you tried this place? <laughs> oh, yeah. Got, <laughs> leave leave it to Cube cool. City. <laughs> okay. Next one is Mr. or Ms. Clean Award. <laughs> What's wrong with that? John, <laughs> is there someone on your team who keeps their workspace immaculately clean? <laughs> Give this person a Mr. or Ms. Clean award. <laughs> John. 
I'm that person. They walk in, they go, forgive the house, it's a wreck. And they look at it and go, what? <laughs> so, and you'll point out, well, that's over there and that's over there. They don't go there. Well, I mean, I'm sure they're fine. Well, I'm in the middle of rebuilding this room. I have people that come in here and they go, you're rebuilding. You show them, I'm rebuilding this room. Uh-huh. Well, this is a heck of a clean construction site because it doesn't look like you're... <laughs> Did notice the wall has a giant hole in it, but you appear to have swept the... Did you mop the floor underneath the hole? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't, want, don't want to attract dust, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you'd get that award. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Next one is called the Coffee Aholic Award. This award is for the employee who is inseparable from their coffee cups. Not cup, cups of coffee. That pro- I, w- I would definitely have that one, too. <laughs> Rumor has it they worked uh, at a Starbucks as a barista in a college because <laughs> they're so into their coffee. Well, no. I'm, I, see, now those are the weird. Now, see, those people I find uh, strangely odd. Now, I love my coffee, but I just have coffee. I mean, it's just coffee. I don't do like the half, half decaf, half mocha. No, 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 no. I just want big coffee. Thank you. <laughs> but I always have one. And the last one, Alice in Wonderland Award. <laughs> the heck? Lots of employees lose themselves in their fantasies. You ever go by somebody's desk and they're just daydreaming and they're not really paying attention to what they're supposed to be doing? Gee. Apparently, the yeah. word is for them. <laughs> You've been drawing that picture for four hours. <laughs> there will usually be a colleague who always seems to be lost in their own fantasy. This is called the Allison in Wonderland Award, specifically for them. <laughs> I like it. it. Makes sense, yeah. <laughs> Makes me think of the book. And on that note, let's go take a break. Welcome back, everybody. You're listening to a quickie with Miss B. Yep. If you missed the first half of the episode, yep. You need to go back and check it out. Yep. <laughs> what in the world are you yepping about? <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Yep. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> If you got it down, yep. Yep. <laughs> I get all of it. Okay. Yep. So all this week we're talking about titles, awards, and holidays. Today is Tuesday. In the second half of the show, we're going to talk about the funny award certificates. The funny thing about this is that you can actually find these certificates online and actually print them up and give them out. <laughs> Sounds cool. Okay. <laughs> Let's start off with this one. The Cheap Watch Award for Most Tightly Wound. <laughs> oh, my God. I was wondering, where are you going with that? <laughs> I'm sitting here. Cheap Watch Award, what? <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. And then there's another one. You're the Best Texting Award. Most Texas OMG. You are so GR8 <laughs> for winning this, LOL. <laughs> All right, that was kind of crazy. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to know who thinks he's up. <laughs> Somebody who's bored is all get out. <laughs> this one's entitled Great Job. Let me tell you your award. For most likely to give unwanted advice. <laughs> I, I, I've I've saw a lot of those certificates. Yeah, I, 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 I've met some of those people. Just saying. I've met some of those people. Oh, wow. You know what you should do, John? No, I do not want to hear what I should do. <laughs> not at all. I don't want to hear what you think I should do. <laughs> Uh, next one is congratulations. This is the Champagne Award for the most sparkling personality. <laughs> That's special. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about displaying that one in my workplace. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I'm 
I'm going to go ahead and hang that up right here. <laughs> For everybody to see <laughs> when they come in the door. Look at my certificate. Okay. Next one is called Superstar. This is Grandma's Dumplings Award. <laughs> the most comforting. <laughs> All right. That's special. <laughs> And they actually have a place where you can put the names on the certificate. So you can fill in the blank with whose ever name would fit that best. <laughs> nope, mo- I, I don't know about the whole most comforting thing. What is that? Like the person, the busybody who's always like, well, you know, uh, every cloud there's a silver lining. Uh, those are usually people you want to slap. <laughs> well, that would be the let me tell you award. <laughs> You know what I would have done? I don't know, but I know what you're going to do. You're going to shut up what you're going to do. <laughs> the next one that we got is Way to Go. This one's called Fourth and Long Award for the most likely to come through in a clinch. <laughs> We're counting on you. What, what is he going to do? Pull a Hail, Hail Mary play like they do in football? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you're the clutch player. Let's do it. <laughs> the next one that we got on here is You're the Best. This one's called the Brown Envelope Award. <laughs> I was kind of wondering where they were going with this one. And then I continued reading and it said, For Best at Keeping Secrets. <laughs> oh, the Brown Envelope. Okay, I get it. Unmar, okay, all right, I got it. Right. It took me a minute to get that one too. You know when I, you know the one I would have given you. Oh, there's one award here for me. I, 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 I would have called it Ike, the Ike Award. I know, I know everything about everyone. <laughs> see, see, see you with the binoculars are behind the thing. Watch it. Isn't that the fifth time she's in the bathroom this half hour? <laughs> The next one is Back in the Day Award for Most Nostalgic. <laughs> that might be me. I'm very nostalgic. <laughs> okay, here's mine. ADD Award. <laughs> or or also known as Squirrel Syndrome. <laughs> for Most Likely to be Distracted by Looking at Something Shiny. <laughs> yep. Squirrel. Absolutely. The things I, the things you have done to me <laughs> in conversations for nothing at all other than something went by. I mean, you've jumped up and ran, and it's like, um, what? Wait, wait, what? What was that? Oh, I thought I heard something. You thought you, we're live <laughs> in the middle of talking. So. To- <laughs> Just start staring out the window. You're like, um, what are you looking at? My, my neighbor just got home. Yeah, but we're, we're live. I know. I'm looking to see what he's doing. Where, where is he? He's in the bathroom. Well, I might have an idea what he's doing. No, there's no curtain, so he's not doing that. <laughs> uh, how about we talk about what we're supposed to talk about and you stop staring in your neighbor's bathroom window? <laughs> Freak. <laughs> and the last one on my list for today is congratulations you got the peacocking award <laughs> okay where are we going with this <laughs> not to woodpecker land okay. <laughs> it's for the biggest show off <laughs> ah, okay all right yeah that makes sense that makes sense yeah strutting your yeah. stuff absolutely <laughs> And on that note, we got to be done. I got to go print off some awards. There you go. <laughs>